and welcome back to Spotlight On. Uh, we just finished up our first segment with Slim Randalls, and we are back with our second guest of the evening, daytime, whatever time it is, morning, <laughs> tomorrow, today. We're right back. Right now. We're back right now with our second guest, <laughs> the executive director of the Albuquerque Westside Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Luis Hernandez. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Hey, uh, we wanted to ask you real quick. We're both comedians. Okay. And, uh, I know, I know we probably like fu the funny. Have you ever heard of us? Um, no, I haven't. Really? Like, come on. No. Sarah Kennedy! James. I'm sorry. My all right, all right, okay. all right, all right. It's fine. Hey, all right, all right. It's Let's fine. go ahead and move on. Let's get to, I guess, the questions now. So you are the executive director of the Albuquerque Westside Chamber of Commerce. Yes, I am. Fantastic. Yes, awesome. uh, what needs does the Westside have that having their own chambers of commerce can, can meet? Well, I'll tell you, there are a handful of different needs. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what we are in place for is to serve our business community by way of helping uh, promote their businesses. Uh, at the end of the day, we uh, are serving to create economic growth and development. Uh, the short story, if you will, we work to help get customers through the doors. Okay. And so, uh, serving the West Side, we have a, a, a slew of different businesses from, uh, from entrepreneurs, uh, solopreneurs, uh, home-based businesses, uh, to uh, storefront uh, uh, businesses, and of course, you have the larger organizations out there. Our focus really is to help push um, and promote the small uh, family-owned businesses or locally-owned businesses, if you will. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm also super into social media, and I heard that you are too. Um, what, what, what do you think Albuquerque businesses <laughs> need to do online to further their reach? You know, that's, uh, yeah, that could be a, a, an entirely different segment uh, <laughs> because I do have a passion for social media as well. And at the end of the day, it's, 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 it doesn't have to be as complicated as most folks make it out to be. Uh, you know, it's just as simple uh, as getting some content uh, for your business out there, whether it's uh, creating a business page or even on your personal page. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but. Uh, certainly with your business page, uh, you know, engage people, um, have a relationship with people uh, uh, through your page. And, and that's really what most folks are, 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 uh, are looking for out there is those businesses that, uh, that they can develop those personal relationships with. Awesome. Mm. That's awesome. So uh, also you, uh, are, as, a, as an event coordinator, you do the uh, Cuts for Kids. Cuts, cuts with a K, K U T. Cuts, yeah, cuts. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. That's, I'm a big fan of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, cuts, cuts with a K, uh, cuts for kids. Um, what is it? It's actually it's our it's our third year. Cuts for kids is an event that we put together. Uh, you know, simply put to serve a need. Uh, the need is is that here in our community we have several, uh, you know, uh, young children um, and youth that, uh, you know, simply put don't have the the financial means to get prepared for going back to school. Uh, and that, uh, you know, is, is uh, in line with, with getting the proper school supplies. And, uh, of course, you know, getting a haircut. And that's so cool. uh, that's where the name Cuts for Kids comes in. Uh, what we do is, is we, we, uh, we basically uh, collect school supplies and uh, then we do distribution uh, the day right before school. And along with that distribution of the school supplies, they get a professional haircut for free. And so uh, the idea behind it is really to send these, uh, these, uh, these kids back to school with some good self-confidence behind them, uh, with a good fresh haircut. Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking good, they're feeling good. And then they have the, the, the tools that they need to be successful in school, uh, which is having the proper school supplies. So that's what that event is about this year. Um, we're going to be moving it. Uh, years uh, previous, we've had it uh, uh, or hosted it at uh, the police academy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've done a phenomenal job. Uh, we've outgrown that space, and so this year we're looking That's to great. move it over to Expo New Mexico. Uh, so we're kind of up in the air right now between uh, the Tingley Coliseum or oh, one of the outdoor venues. Oh, so uh, nice. it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, last year we were able to service uh, a little over a thousand kids. This year our goal is going to be between the 2,500 and 5,000 uh, uh, kids served. Wow, so we're, we're going to need some help. Absolutely. <laughs> Please help. Maybe you guys can come out there and perform um, music or something like that? Uh, we, well, actually, it's comedy. Comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not very, I'm I'm not very uh, musically inclined. <laughs> I can uh, I could beat the heck out of a table uh, with a stick. That's about it. I don't, I'm not a very good. I, are you at, at all musically inclined? I, I, heard, I heard you uh, like to play, play a little. Just, a just a little bit, just a little bit. That just, is, just um, got done with some drums earlier today. Is that what it was? So it, it, it was absolutely correct. Uh, that's, uh, what do you play? That's, that's my passion. My other passion is music. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a drummer. 
Uh, I got started uh, way back in middle school, and uh, and of course you went to West Mesa. I went to West Mesa. Hey, yeah. Played music out there. That was awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, you know everything that uh, we do is is uh, is surrounds music. Um, my wife and I have a, a business, uh, Elite Music Productions, mm -hmm. and uh, so we do a lot of event coordinating, a lot of event planning, and uh, and uh, live music live booking. Music. Nice. So uh, so if you're looking for any type of band, oh, right on. and you want a live band. Not a DJ, yeah. but a live band. We certainly uh, work to uh, to uh, to provide the, the right entertainment Absolutely. at the right time. That's good. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a blast. Looking for comedians? Yeah, may, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Had I heard of you guys? <laughs> oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Before awesome. this, you know. <laughs> no, it's hey, I get it. I get it. Okay, I'm, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to put you guys on the spot because okay, everybody up. knows that I'm really, really, really good at that. I'll tell you what. If you guys come out to our very next chamber networking event. Okay. When? Um, I'll tell you when later. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you guys come out to the next, very next networking event, mm -hmm. I will personally make sure that you have five to ten minutes of microphone time at our chamber event. So that not only I will be familiar with who you guys are, okay, but uh, we can expose who you guys are to our chamber members as That's well. Right. I yeah. like that. That's I amazing. like that. Yeah. Um, yes. I'll then say when yes. you have me back, uh huh. You can we'll ask have me back. back. Remember? Yeah. Now you remember? Yeah. You remember? Awesome. yeah. Awesome. remember? And then we'll do the cheesy. <laughs> hey, you remember this? So where can people find out more information about the Albuquerque Westside Chamber of Commerce? It, there's there's uh, two really good ways. Uh, one of the first ways, most importantly, is our website abqwest.org mm -hmm. and uh, in our website you can find out information about membership you can also take a look and see who our members are uh, some of our members have uh, expanded directories so you have uh, uh, an opportunity to take a look at uh, uh, what they're doing in depth uh, also events you can take a look at uh, several events that are happening here in the city in fact if you guys have events that uh, you have upcoming I encourage you to uh, go to the website and uh, share those events with us it is a community calendar uh, one of the other ways that you can find us is on the radio. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, ABQ West Radio, which airs on 1600 AM, Kiva, the Rocket mm -hmm. Talk, on Saturdays. It's all part of the Small Business Saturday programming. And uh, what we do is we, uh, we interview our chamber members on the show. Oh, cool. That's amazing. All right, well, thank you so much for being here today, you guys. Uh, big, big thanks to Luis Hernandez. You guys uh, hang out with us for one more break. We'll come back, and there's so much more fun. It's going to be awesome. Thank you.